Great leaders and welcome to break time. Today's proverb is 26, oh, 15, and it says, A sluggard buries his hand in the dish. He is too lazy to bring it back to his mouth. Okay, we've talked about people who are lazy this, I, mean, I believe, this entire week. This one is going to go even a step further. Here's another sample example of somebody who's lazy. Somebody who's lazy cannot control the flesh, has a difficult time um, being self-controlled, being under the power of the Holy Spirit so much that they can, can continue or they can, they can say no to the flesh. Their fleshly desires tend to rule their life. Laziness will lead you to that, will lead me to that. When I become lazy physically, I'm going to become lazy emotionally, I'm going to become lazy mentally, and I'm going to become lazy spiritually. It's a cycle. And we saw the lazy physically yesterday by sleeping too much. This one is just lazy um, physically again, but in a different sort of way. It's lazy where we can't control the flesh. We eat what's before us. Whatever is put before us, we don't think. We don't give it opportunity to. We don't give ourselves opportunity to think of the consequences of what we're doing. We just allow the flesh to master us to tell us what it need what it what we're going to do instead of allowing the holy spirit or allowing ourselves to really think is what i'm going to put in my mouth good for me and can i can i say no but the sluggard eats so much that it's i mean this is such a drama i mean this is so dramatic what he says here that they end up putting their hand in their cup and they're so lazy they can't even get their hand out They've had too much, and as a result of having too much, they they can't even move. Now that's that's the extreme example, but chances are we might we we may have fallen into this temptation. Of course, we probably all have fallen into the temptation where we have allowed our flesh to we have allowed it to tell us what we are going to do, and it's not being under the power of the Holy Spirit. So. Even in our workplace, this can happen. This can, it's, we're surrounded by people who are lazy. I'm praying and hoping that faith leaders, you are the example of somebody who's unwrapped their precious gift, who's allowed the Holy Spirit to use you so powerfully that you're gonna allow the Holy Spirit to control your you physically, mentally, emotionally. <laughs> you've, all, you've encompassed all of that. Lazy people compartmentalize it all. And as a result of that, it gets all messy and it's, it's uncontrolled in all of these areas. But you've allowed the Holy Spirit just to wrap his arms around you and absorb himself in you. And he will give you everything, all the strength that you need. You, my friend, have a blessed day.